Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy on Marketing.com. In this video, we're gonna go over the rules that is available within the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. So what do rules do? Well, they basically let you automate certain things within your ads account. Like if certain criteria is reached, you could go ahead and turn on or off a campaign, or you could increase or decrease your budget. And so these rules can help you manage your account. Now, inside the Ads Manager on the Campaigns area, you should see an option for rules right here. And rules can be applied at all three levels. So you can apply rules at the campaign level, you could come over to the ad set level and apply rules just to ad sets, or you could come all the way down to the ads level and apply rules to individual ads if you wanna do that. So if you wanted to apply a rule to these two ads, you could go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna to come to the campaign level because if you understand how to apply rules in general, you can figure out if you need to apply rules at an ad set or an ad level. So let's go ahead and click into the rules menu. And we're gonna go ahead and click create a new rule because I don't have any rules currently. But if you have rules that you wanna go ahead and manage or change, you could go ahead and click this option and we'll click it in a little bit once we create a rule. So let's go ahead and create a rule. And we'll see several options right here. So there's custom rule, which is where we're gonna spend most of our time. There's also enable advantage plus creative, reduce option overlap, optimize ad creative, and reduce audience fragmentation. Now with these four options right here, I hesitate to actually use them because they will make modifications to your campaigns, ad sets, and ads that you may not want them to do. However, what you can do if you click into one of them, and we can go to next real quick, you could go ahead and set it to send a notification only. And then Facebook will alert you when it thinks you might want to go ahead and enable Advantage Plus Creative. And then you could go ahead and decide for yourself if that's something you want to go ahead and do versus letting Facebook just kind of control your entire campaign. So one thing you might want to do is actually turn on those four rules just to see when they trigger. Just send yourself a notification be like, when does this actually occur? When would I use this? And then you can see for yourself if it's something that you want to use within your account. But I've never given Facebook full control to go ahead and just change things because it just seems too scary to me and like something could go wrong. But anyway, that's just my point of view. Let's go ahead and create a custom rule. So we'll go into custom rule here and next. And so now we go through this little rule creation wizard. And so first thing we have rule name. I'm gonna come back to it after we create the rule so that way I can be descriptive in my rule name. Apply rule two, so we have all campaigns selected as a default option. You could also do all active ad sets or all active ads. Additionally, if you came down here and you selected, you know, two campaigns and went over to the rules and create a new rule and custom rule, well, then you could go ahead and apply the rule to these two campaigns. I'm just going to do all active campaigns. Then we have our action. So we have turn off campaigns. We have turn on campaigns, send notification only. So if you want to be notified when certain criteria is met, you could go ahead and do that. And then you could come in here and manually check on your account and make any sort of adjustments you may want to make. And then there's also the options to adjust your budget. You can increase or decrease your daily budget or increase or decrease your lifetime budget. And in this particular example, we're going to go ahead and increase our daily budget. And you can see that some more options popped up here. So we could go ahead and increase our daily budget by let's just say 5%. So so your rule will apply to campaigns that are active at the time the rule runs. Only campaigns with daily budgets can be managed with, by this action rule. So any sort of lifetime budget campaign you have running will not be impacted by this particular rule. Now we have the maximum daily budget cap. So in instances where you're increasing your budget or decreasing your budget, you may want to go ahead and set a maximum rule so that way you don't start spending a million dollars a day or something crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in $100 just for the sake of example. Action frequency. So this is the minimum amount of time until the same action can be taken on an object by a rule. The default value is once every 12 hours. So basically this is setting a throttle on the amount of times that it's going to increase your daily budget by 5%. So basically it won't increase your budget by 5% unless it's been at least 12 hours. But there's also the option right here for schedule where you can schedule when the rule will actually run. So you can kind of play with these two settings to find a balance of what you actually want to go ahead and do. So like in my case, I'm going to go ahead and set this for once hourly because I'm going to go ahead and set my schedule for daily. And so my rule will only run once a day, even though the, my action frequency is set to once hourly. So that's just something to be aware of. There's like two places where you can actually schedule when your rules will fire off. And let's come back up here to conditions. So all of the following match. So when will it to increase my budget by 5%. So we can hit this drop down here and there's a bunch of different options here. We have amount spent, lifetime spent, frequency, results, cost per result, mobile app install, cost per mobile app install, mobile app purchase ROAS, website purchase ROAS. There's settings options, there's time options, there's cost per website conversion, meta pixel options, and so on. So there's a bunch of different options four criteria of when you want this rule to run. However, the most common one I use is cost per result. 
And so if cost per result is less than, let's say $10, then I'm gonna want this rule to go ahead and run. Because based on my calculations, anytime I can acquire a customer for under $10, then I'm making money. So I might as well keep increasing my budget. You can also see that it added this option for lifetime impressions is greater than 8,000. So basically Facebook wants to make sure that your campaign and ads have run long enough that have actually received enough impressions and data to get a good accurate cost per action before it starts running these rules. And so it sets this condition automatically for you to ensure that you have enough data before it starts increasing your budget and things like that. Now, if you wanna go ahead and remove it, you can. So if you don't like that restriction, go for it. But Facebook will recommend not doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it back. Now, the next field we have is time range. So this is basically the amount of time that Facebook is going to look back on your campaign to see how things are going. Now, as you notice, you can hover over these little eyes and I'll give you a little definition of what each option is. So this is the number of days worth of data you'd like to apply your rule to. So maximum mean that it would look back the entire length of your campaign, which may or may not be something you want, especially if your campaign has been running for months or something, that might be a lot of data for it to look back on. And something more reasonable might be to look back like three days. So if my cost per result has been less than $10 over the last three days, well then my rule will go ahead and fire off. So usually if I'm adjusting my budget, I'll look back three days or maybe seven days. You can also go ahead and include today as well, if that's something you wanna go ahead and do, but I usually stick with three to seven days when I'm adjusting my budget, so I'll leave it at that. Now we get to the schedule option, and I kinda of talked about it earlier when we talked about frequency. So the first option is continuously, so rule runs as often as possible, usually every 30 to 60 minutes. So if I click this option, and I have it set for once hourly, then if my cost per result is less than $10 over the last three days, then roughly every hour, my budget would increase by 5%, all the way up to $100 USD. So that would be a rapid increase in my budget, and that's probably not what I'm trying to go for. So more than likely, you probably wanna set a rule of daily if you're doing something like that, so that way your budget is being adjusted just once daily. Or you could go ahead and do a custom schedule right here. So if you wanna select different days your rules to run on and different times that your rules could run, you could go ahead and select the options right here. And you could also select multiple time frames for the same day by clicking this little plus button right here. So now Tuesday has two windows when my rules could go ahead and run. And we're actually gonna come back to this schedule thing in just a couple minutes as I wanna show you a little trick but for my particular example, I'm just gonna go with daily. And then we have the notification right here. So we'll receive a notification on Facebook. And you could also enable the option to receive an email. So that way you can keep track of the rules you receive via email because if you're anything like me, you have way too many Facebook notifications and you're not looking at them. And it's a lot simpler and cleaner just to get an email. So now let's come back up here and name my rule. So I named it, if cost per result is less than $10, increase budget 5% once daily up to $100. And I can come to manage rules now to review or edit this rule. So here's the manage rules area and you can see my one rule right here. If I want to go ahead and turn it off. I could go ahead and flip the switch and my rule will no longer be going off. So that can be useful if you no longer want to be using a rule, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. Additionally, you could go ahead and edit your rule if you want to. So you need to make some changes. You could go ahead and do that or you could hit this drop down and run the rule. So if you want to force run the rule, you could go ahead and do that or you could delete the rule as well. I'm gonna come back to the ads manager and campaign area. Now I wanna go ahead and set up another set of rules that can be handy as they can help you schedule your ads. Now, if you've ever set up an ad set before and you've chosen daily budget, you've seen that you can't schedule your ads to run at certain days and times like you can when you're doing a lifetime budget. However, by using rules, you can turn your ads on and off at certain times which kind of works as scheduling your ads. However, there are some downsides with this. First and foremost, you won't ever spend your daily budget if you do it this way. Additionally, turning on and off your ads a bunch of times can mess up Facebook's algorithm. So it might not be the best option for things to do. However, I found that if you're doing like a small local campaign with like a three mile radius around your business, then this method of scheduling your ads might be worth the downside because there's only so many people in that area anyway. And there's only so much optimization the algorithm can really do because more than likely everyone in that radius is going to see your ads a whole bunch of times anyway. So this strategy may or may not be something you wanna test out. I just wanna show you that it's something that people do. So here we go, we'll go to rules and create a new rule and custom rule again and next. And I'm gonna go ahead and name this turn, turn on during business hours. And I'll leave it set to all campaigns and I wanna go ahead and change my action to turn on campaigns. Now I'm not gonna set any conditions for this particular rule. I'm gonna go ahead and close this off and time range doesn't really matter. I'll just leave it as maximum. 
but I'm gonna come down here to schedule and set custom up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run this rule when my business is open. So we'll come on to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we'll set up our hours. So there we go, I set up all my times and you can see that if start and end time are the same time, then the rule will run once per day. And all times are Eastern time because that's what time my ad account is set up in. And so there we go, that looks good to me. I want the ads to turn on at 9 a.m. every day. And then I could go ahead and hit create and then that rule will be set up. So now I need to go ahead and set a rule to turn off my ads as well. So I'm gonna come back in here and create a new rule and custom rule and next and turn off ads during non-business hours and we'll leave it apply to all active campaigns and we want to go ahead and turn off the campaigns. We'll go ahead and remove the conditions. Time range is fine at maximum, but we're gonna set a custom time frame. And we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we're gonna turn it off at 5 p.m. every day. And so there we go, this rule will run at 5 p.m. every single day, and I can click on create and close. So now my ads will turn on at 9 a.m. and off at 5 p.m. every single day. Again, since I'm only running ads for eight hours a day, I'm not going to spend my full daily budget. So I may need to go in and actually increase my budget on my ad sets to ensure that I'm spending the amount I wanna go ahead and spend every single day. And also it's not very good for the algorithm to turn on and off ads a whole bunch of times. But if you're advertising to a small local market, this may be an okay way to schedule your ads. And I just wanted to show it to you. And so that's it for creating rules within the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sure to like, comment, subscribe, and or check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.